Hi there, Tube. It's Musical Area. Spilled Nook run Monday tonight. They're uh, doing Adelaide and uh, Hobart. We're, of course, uh, continuing our Around Australia. Part 2 Bigaloo. We're at uh, Smithton in the northwest of uh, Tasmania. And today we're going to be flying over to uh, King Island and then onwards to uh, the Great Ocean Road. There's actually an airfield now called the Great Ocean Road, sometimes called Peterborough. And uh, we're going to be flying the new uh, Just Flight Piper Archer 3, not the Turbo 1, just the 3. And we're going to be using the uh, currently freeware beta, but probably going to eventually become a payware, um, GTN 750. Which are all uh, all know and love from air to wear and uh, just flight and that kind of stuff. So uh, let's head over, make our way up to King Island. Just entering uh, Smithton Airfield. Here we go. And there's a wonderfully replicated building here. It is slightly in the wrong place. It needs to be a little bit further forward than that. Uh, it should be on this fence line, in this space here. Anyhow, the building looks about right with the uh, big Smithson thing and the big tank. And we'll head over to our aircraft, which is right here. couple of things to point out. Aircraft is currently empty, no people on board. We have some tie downs and some wheel trucks. Hello there, Lachlan. I hope you're doing well. The first thing we can do here is unlock the door and give that a big push, that'll open the door. Pop out into here. Hello, Toilet Inspector and JB Aviation. So we're flying Sierra Golf Echo. There's a bit of news today. I got a knock on the door from the Australian Army. I'm making sure that I was still at home, haven't gone to work or anything like that, or shopping, or out. Uh, they knocked twice today, and apparently there's a nice $20,000 fine if you they knock on the door and you're not at home. Because I'm in quarantine. Anyhow, let's jump in. we have over here is the Just Flight uh, EFB. Using this we can do things like take the chocks off and the tie downs away. And we can pop a co-pilot in here. Here's Virtual Arjun. Let's make sure I'm sitting in the seat correctly. Won't need that anymore so we'll uh, pop it away. Let's close the door for the moment. Lock us in. Yeah, exactly, Lock. And what if they knock on the door and you're in the shower? <laughs> Get fined for having a shower. Now, the Air Traffic Control Center covering Tassie hasn't shown up yet. Hopefully they pop up in the next half hour or so. I see a few people over at King Island as well. That's fun. Let's see what we're doing. So here's the uh, forecast. Or if it's coming out of Smithton, we can see the outline of King Island. Leaving Smithton, we'll probably uh, climb up to an altitude of about 6,000 feet. <laughs> Good one, Royal Inspector. When they did knock on the door, I was uh, trying to mount my yoke and I dropped it on the floor. 
Because <laughs> it wasn't quite mounted properly. <laughs> so it was a bit of a pain. Anyway, we've got uh, wind 300 degrees at 28 knots at, uh, I think that's 5,000 feet. Up at 7,000 feet, it's 310 at 27 knots. Here's some uh, interesting procedures about the Bass Strait. So for single engine aircraft and multi engine aircraft unable to maintain height after an engine failure, flights going through King Island via the Cape Otway, Bolt Head and Hunter Island, minimum altitude for continuous VFR is 3,000 feet. Uh, following reporting schedule procedures are recommended. Report position leaving the coast together with an aircraft type, tracking details and pe people on board. Nominate a reporting schedule appropriate to the aircraft speed, e.g. 10, 15 or 20 minute intervals. Uh, we're reasonably quick today, so we might do 15. At each uh, scheduled reporting time, report operations normal, uh, preferably with a position. A report when crossing the opposite coast to cancel the re reporting schedule. And then as an alternative, uh, pilots may report leaving the coast and nominate a SAR time for the expected landfall at the opposite coastline. All reports associated with these procedures of Bass Strait crossings should be made to Melbourne Centre. Minimum altitude requirements to apply enable continuous way to way VHF across the Bass Strait. And uh, traffic services will respond immediately to any emergency call, but in the event of radio or other failure situation that prevents use of the radio, uh, the use of the scheduled reporting over water will ensure that search and rescue action is taken following a missed scheduled report, and a scheduled report ensures quicker response time than nominated SAR time, for which SAR action would be taken at the expiration of that time. And basically it's a way of uh, getting rescue operations out to us at the Bass Strait quicker. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Ben, we've got the arrow. It's doing pretty nicely. Ah, oh, someone just logged in at uh, Smithton here. A twin engine something or other. Nice. Anyway, this is our flight plan. We're going to be uh, taking off out of Smithton. Uh, popping over, uh, this one's Hunter Island, can't remember what the name of the other island there is. Uh, pick it up here. Robins Island, then Hunter Island. We'll leave Hunter Island, go all the way across this bit of the Bass Strait, make landfall here at um, King Island, uh, which was that place that they were talking about, what's it called here? Bold Head, it's right there. Bold head. And then from there we'll uh, go 14 miles into uh, King Island Airfield. Once we land at King Island we'll uh, probably take a toilet break and then once we're ready we'll continue on as uh, shown there to Cape Otway. So the idea is we'll fly up to um, this place here, it's called New Year Island, and then uh, continue along, what's that, 50 nautical miles up to Cape Upway, and from Cape Upway we'll uh, head on into Peterborough via the Great Ocean Road. The first one, first leg here, up to King Island, I'm uh, going to file uh, IFR, but the second leg we're going to file at uh, VFR. So, uh, two different operations for the same crossing. Now we're looking at Smithton, and we might go ahead and call uh, the AWIS as well at um, King Island before we go. Let's get everything squared away and done while we can. Automated 
Integrated Weather Information Service, Smithton Airport, time 0806 Zulu, wind 010 degrees magnetic at 7 knots, temperature 9R, dew point 7, QNH 1019 hectopascals, rainfall last 10 minutes nil. Okay, we've got uh, wind uh, 0107, so that'll give us runway 06 for departure. ROC right hand circuits on 24, so it's left hand on 06. Which suits us well because uh, after takeoff we want to turn left. We'll probably use the entire runway, so we'll uh, come out via the taxiway, enter the runway, backtrack, do the U turn, and then pop out of there. After departing uh, Smithton, we'll uh, pop over Robins Island. There's a little airfield on Robins Island if we needed to use it. Just a grass strip. Passing Robins Island, we'll go through this channel and then over Hunter Island. And if we did need to turn back, we have Three Hummock Island has a small airfield on it. After that, it's all the way through to Bold Head before we uh, make landfall again. Uh, E-Class airspace is... Uh, down to 10,000, uh, 10, say 12,500 feet, 12,500, we can't make it that high, we won't have oxygen on board, so we need to stay below 10,000, I'm going to file 8,000 feet IFR. Look at the aircraft, we have a uh, GTN 750, you can see our um, Seatbelt over the top there. Just like any other Piper 28, we have the flaps on the ground there. Pull them out to uh, pop them out. Aircraft has been fueled, it's at full tanks. We'll just imagine we've done the walk around because we can't do a walk around in this sim very easily. Eh, might as well do it. Let's pop out and do a walk. Still waiting for that ATC to show up. Which they haven't yet. While we're out here, we might as well um, have a chat about our flight plan as well. So looking at this fight plan, Smithton, Robbins, Robbins to Hunter, Hunter to Boldhead, Boldhead to King Island, although we are flying at IFR, we're using these waypoints as VFR waypoints. Uh, we can see here we have an estimated time of 23 minutes across the thing, so if we do a 10 minute check-in, uh, we'd check in, what, four times? Which is to say once every 10 minutes, 23 minutes means we're only check in once in the mid midfield and then we'll uh, contact at the landfall and of course we'd need to make a contact arriving <laughs> at uh, Hunter Island. Uh, magnetic variation came from the charts we have 13 degrees I think so you can see these little green dotted lines they show uh, 13 degree east on a magnetic heading compared to true heading so we plan in true heading, and then that's magnetic heading uh, adjustment. This so magnetic heading changes uh, year by year. We also have our winds, which we've uh, picked up from here. I've highlighted the winds that we've taken. So airborne out of Smithton, up to 4,000 feet. Uh, the wind uh, 300 at 28 knots. We have a plus 8 degrees. In fact, the uh, freezing level is way up at like 10,000 feet, so we don't need to worry about that much at all. Also done a calibrated airspeed compared to the true airspeed. So we're going to be flying the true airspeed about 135, and the calibrated is going to be uh, about 120 or so. It's possible that we might even go faster than that, because the aircraft's capable of about 5 knots on. So we may need to adjust the speed as we go. Uh, but we'll uh, check that out with the GPS, which will be handy. 
There's our estimated times, and this is a fuel burn, should be 12.7, we made uh, 13. We have 76 gallons on board, burning 13 on per hour. And uh, by the time we get to King Island, we'll have 66 on board, which is enough to take us to our final destination over there in Victoria. Cool. Usual things, you'd look at your flaps, you'd look at your... that thing, which I can't move at the moment because I'm not inside the aircraft. Along there, you'd check the pitots are clear. Jump in under here and grab a fuel sample from underneath the wing. I think I saw the sampler. There. Yeah, you'd stick it into that. Also, check the wheels, make sure the tyres are all good. This is a retractable undercarriage aircraft, so you want to make sure that there's no pins in there as well. Come up here to check the oil from in that little thing here. Gosh, it's sensitive in the vertical axis. <laughs> but there's our oil. Making sure that the uh, propeller is all in one piece, there's no nicks or chips out of the prop. Just making sure that the cowling is closed, there's nothing really to do over there. All the tie downs are off and stuff. That there is the pitot. And then obviously the fuel drain on that wing. Around the side making sure that the lights are good flaps and stuff here and uh, this thing is the flying wing of the of the back of the tail a what they call it stabilator it's like a cross between a stabilizer and a elevator uh, there is no stabilizer on this aircraft it's one of the few aircraft that have this configuration and we'll jump back on in Close it up. I'm happy with that. If you guys are happy, we might as well uh, start our journey. Once we uh, start the engine, we'll need to make a uh, broadcast to uh, ATC to get pick up a uh, well, make a broadcast to tell them that we're coming. So we're what two POB SGE uh, IFR to um, King Island zero six is our runway. Taxis. 06 IFR to King Island. They'll probably give us a squat code. And then we'll go back to the CTAF. The CTAF is frequency 119.1. All right, let's get moving. So I'm going to uh, prime the engine a little bit because we probably need it. We get about 50% eh, mixture. Then pop the uh, fuel pump in. Give it about five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Drop the mixture down to zero. Hello Flying Z, hope you're well. Make sure that our um, parking brake is set. It is. Feet on the brakes, just, just in case. And we'll start getting the engine ready. So, crack the throttle, maybe an inch or so. Little crack on the uh, mixture, and then we'll start the key and push the mixture forward. And we want a thousand RPM. Another thing I wouldn't mind is a little bit more sound coming out of that uh, engine. Let's push the uh, volume up a touch.
more like it. Okay, the flaps are closed. Let's kind of check something here. Cool. Let's pop this open for now. And since we're flying IFR, we're going to want to uh, pop that flight plan in. We'll be coming out of YSMI. Uh, the flight plan is via uh, dotvu. Uh, destination first, King Island. Add en route. Dot vu. And insert after King Island. There we go, Smithton dot vu King Island done. Check it on here. That looks good to me. Let's go to procedures, uh, departure, uh, nothing there, departure, nothing, runway. That uh, doesn't have this airport really, so I'll just leave it. Cool. Uh, readjust this to a thousand RPM. Ooh, getting cold out there. The other thing I want to do is pop in the NDB, which is 332. Might as well turn on the DME as well. How do we turn on the D DME? There we are. Cool. So on three three two set. In route or on V lock, I want to be on the other thing. How do we do that? I know there's a nav button somewhere. We're already on 119.1, that's nice. I know how to do it in the other way, other um, GNS, but I don't do it in here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, CDI, isn't it? There we are. Done. Yes, Tart Inspector, I do. One of my favourite channels is uh, Dash Cams Australia. Not because of the dash cams, but because of the remembering places. <laughs> I go there to see. Oh yeah, I'll recognise that location. That's fun. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, chat to whoever is on Melbourne Centre. The closest one to us is Snowy1240. There we go, transponding. Uh, 
Smith and Traffic and uh, Melbourne Centre, Sierra Golf Echo is a Piper uh, Arrow, departing Smith Turn, runway 06, 2 POB, IFR to King Island. It's a good chance nobody heard that. We're going to have to get airborne with <laughs> without so much as ignorance. Oh well. Report it to the um, CTAF. Traffic Smith turn, Sierra Golf Echo is a uh, Piper Arrow. We're taxiing to runway 06 to POB, IFR to King Island. Traffic Smith turn. Okay, parking brake is released. Let's move on out. That's the, um, oh yep, there we are. <laughs> Try to figure out where we are. That's the helipad. Itchy where my ear heat hits my um, headset. It's been annoying. It's getting that last night as well. From taxiway Alpha, straight ahead. You do the run up there. Mr. Rich. Nineteen hundred seems about right. Left Magneto. Good drop, about 75 I'd say. And uh, right Magneto. Same, nice and stable, set to both. Oh, the toilet, already had it. No dinner required tonight. I see that aircraft has gone and taxied through us. It's alright, I can be patient. Oh, he's decided to just stop. Alright, we can leapfrog each other. You went through me, I'll go through you. Smith and Traffic, Sierra Golf, Echo will be entering runway 09 to backtrack. So again, 06 to backtrack. Let's get all of our lights on. Beacon, landing lights, strobe lights. Tazzy's on. Come to a stop. <laughs> Two three eight.
Cool. Well, Sarah Sierra Golf Echo is a uh, Piper Arrow departing uh, Smithton, runway 06, 2 POB, IFR to King Island. FM one two three one eight. Sierra Golf Echo, thanks. Walk three seven five five. No report at five traffic in King Island. So go three seven five five. Sierra Golf Echo. Qantas ten ten. So Golf Echo entering one way zero six backtrack, Smithton. Keeps doing that. It's thrown me into a different position in the seat at random. Okay, final checklist. Once we're lined up with runway, we're going to check our DG heading and the uh, compass. Smithton traffic, Sierra Golf Echo is uh, departing runway 06, uh, left hand uh, crosswind departure. Okay, the heading showing, uh, let's call that 055, 055, yep. We're all good to go, and first heading airborne 291. Set. Let's go. Knots. Positive right. Gear up. Left of traffic, Sierra Golf Julia, it's taxiing from my 06. And backtracking. 90 knots for the climb. Time is 32. What else do we put in the flat plan again? Is it 6,000? 8,000. Cool. We'll give it a go. Be 
38 at Robins Island. And we want um, feet wet at Hunter. 46. Traffic, Sarah Golf Juliet, rolling runway 06, departing left crossing to Kingham. Melbourne Centre, Sarah Golf Echo, departure report at Smithton. Melbourne Centre now, 1240, small 1240, quite a 10 10, thanks. 2500 RPM, maybe even a little less. Melbourne Centre, Sarah Golf Echo departed Smithton at time 3-2 with uh, report. Sarah Golf Echo, go ahead. Sarah Golf Echo requesting clearance to King Island as uh, filed uh, departed Smithton at time 3-2. We're estimating uh, Hunter Island at time 3... Uh, time 3-7, uh, uh, so again, 4-6. Sarah Golf Echo. To King Island via Hunter Island, 5 point route, climb to 8 7. Cleared to uh, King Island, Hunter Island planned route, climb 8,000, Sarah Golf Echo. And passing 2,500 down. Sure, go figure. Quintus 910, back in coffee. Quintus 910. Hundred knots for the climb. So it's still still at full manifold pressure. I'll just bring this out a little bit. It'd be nice to use the autopilot. It does nav, but it doesn't do vertical, so you can't do climbs and descents with the autopilot. Ah, I love these little primitive things. Let's engage it. See what happens. current mark speed. Yeah, that's working. Current mark speed uh, 0.78, point of ended. Point of 19, thanks. Melbourne Centre, Sierra Golf Juliet, departed system, time at 3-2. Uh, request clearance to King Island. Sierra Golf Juliet, report level passing. Two minutes to Robins Sierra Island. Golf. Juliet, um, uh, that location months. that's marked as uh, dot view. Sierra Golf Juliet identified cleared King Island to climb to 7,000. Cleared to King Island and climb to 7,000. Sierra Golf Juliet, thanks for that. Why is he going westbound at 7? Okay, whatever. What's the temperature? Hard to spot that temperature. Uh, zero, one, two, three, four, about four degrees. So there's um, plus thirty and minus thirty, so we're looking at ten, twenty. A little bit ahead, it's about four, four about there. Quantum say sixteen, start clearing so about available. Quantum say sixteen, go ahead. Quantum say sixteen, cleared more go one alpha arrival, runway three zero, maintain pot level three nine zero. We'll go one Alpha arrival, runway three zero, maintain flight level three nine zero. Qantas eight one six. Going to uh, lean it out a little bit more. EGT still rising. Uh, Melbourne Centre, Qantas Centre eleven with you at four thousand. 
There's Par Street. On a 16, 11, That's the peak of air. You're a little bit richer, Pete. Five, five, two, three, six, zero, so we can go Lena Peak on the climb, can't we? Right there. Oh, the nation. Uh, Nathan, sorry. <laughs> nation. <laughs> what? So remember now the aircraft is on autopilot. We're at time 39. We've just entered, so we're about one minute late according to this. And so that means we're going to be 47. Connect 910, connect Melbourne Centre now, 135 decimal 3, good night. That means we're going to uh, cross Bold Head at uh, 10 minutes past the next hour. I can't time 08, so it'll be 0910. That little flashing light is the automatic extension gear. So uh, if we were to um, slow down into the white range and then pull the power back and uh, the aircraft would deploy its landing gear by itself. Once you get out of this white arc, that flashing should stop. Leaving 350 to 210. Got a 738. Jetstar 683, when ready, descend for level 210. I'm ready to send 284. Platinum 1084, connect Melbourne Centre now, 125 decimal 3, good night. 125 decimal 3, 1084, thanks, 33, catch you later. She's climbing pretty well for a, uh, you know, it's not a turbo prop or anything like that. Let's double check that EGT again. And I'll be going to send it one with uh, radio check. That's about peak, I think. Snowbird one, rating you 5x5. Thanks. And I'll send it one into the clouds. Uh, what's the time at the CTAF? Well, we'll probably join the CTAF at uh, 10 minutes past and then call very soon thereafter. 18 is when we're in the circuit. So 18 minutes past the next hour. Snowbird 1, don't you have a, uh, sorry, I don't have you on radar here, just stand by. Yep, we've got live weather on. Sure do. Ah, apparently not. Why is that not on? Live weather, there we go. <laughs> the aircraft just randomly goes into a zoom climb for me. Thanks. It's 
get that time of day back to the morning again. Nicer weather, I like this better. Snare bed one bump and set a key ready. Follow you. Good looking aircraft, isn't it? Snare bed one. So down in that area that's covered by our wing is a place called Woolnorth, Woolnorth. You may recognise there's an airfield just about, or oh, might be there, <laughs> next to a little road. That's where we had the, uh, the Lancer Legacy incident, where we overran the runway and then used the road to come back to the runway after giving way to passing traffic. Charlie Romeo Grove, climb by the Sid Father Bull for zero zero. Anyway, that's where it happened down there on that little bit of land. Snow bad one, got you now. Clear the split five alpha arrival runway three zero when ready to send Father Bull to one nine and zero. That there is uh, Trefoil Island. There's actually a very small landing strip on there, grass strip. And I believe that's um, I was reading something about it, the island giving, being given to uh, Aboriginal claim back in the 1990s. <laughs> That'd be nice, but there isn't yet. Um, it was only released recently, so not many repaints for it yet. And I don't Flight think there's any VH liveries apart from the ones that came with so far. When ready, flight level 210, Qantas 816. I'm told that the um, paint kicks for this are awful. Qantas 816 so. for separation, re action reduce speed to uh, 250 knots. Time 46, we're just overhead. Reduce 250 knots, Qantas 816. trimming out those forces. Remember this autopilot can't maintain altitude, it's uh, only lateral. So we, uh, you know, we're just on trim at this point. Hi Lofius. Anyway, Hotel Tanker Mike isn't a retractable that would be unrealistic. It'd be nice to have a real live version of SGE, actually. You know, in its current livery, not its 1990s livery. Have a shot the uh, altitude by a touch. We'll just. Uh, Try and get back down to 8,000. Time 48. Time 16 for separation, turn right heading 220. Turn right heading 220. Uh, just play it safe, I'm going to put 11 and 19. So we actually passed that at 48, we're now over the ocean, and we'll make landfall at time 11. About one, hold at input, um, one leg. Hunter. Well, 
Melbourne Centre, Sierra Golf Echo request. Sierra Golf Echo. Sierra Golf Echo past uh, Hunter Island at time 4.8. We estimate uh, crossing landfall at Bold Point at 0911 UTC. Uh, request to nominate uh, report-ins at 10 minute intervals. Sierra Golf Echo approved. Sierra Golf Echo. So the time is 49. Gonna write an alarm. Set alarm in 10 minutes. Okay, 6.59 p.m. Setting your alarm. Cool. 250 knots to descent, corner plate 16. Yeah, why did I do that? <laughs> I I was... like it should be the ATA, shouldn't it be? Yeah. Good old Lachlan being all observant and like. So we would have had originally 10 there and then it was 11 there. That would have been 18. Track turn right heading at There you go. Eyes dotted and T's crossed. Receive uh, yet another text message. Once again, at 5.14 p.m. today, the Victorian Department of Health, apart from the phone calls and the multiple other text messages and the knocks at the door, <laughs> telling me, don't go out your house. Yes, that's right, JB Aviation. We have Navigraph charts here on the GTN. So hit the charts, pick up King Island. Uh, yeah, let's go airport info. No, you try. Info. How do you do it? There. So that's a current chart. Should have the AWAS up there too. Hey. Yes, 128.75. We'll do it by the phone because then we can actually get it properly. Pity we don't have, um, what do you call these things? Ursas in, in the charts. It'd be hilarious to have the Ursa in the chart. We could look up the phone number and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Lachlan. You didn't go anywhere yesterday, did you, Trent? Yeah, I did. I went to Tasmania. <laughs> Just kidding. Automated weather information service. King Island Airport. Time 0850 Zulu. Wind 010 degrees magnetic at 5 knots. Visibility 25 kilometers. Present weather. No significant weather. Cloud clear below 10,000 feet. Temperature 8. Dew point 4. QNH 1019 hectopascals. Rainfall last 10 minutes nil. That's all good for us. 10 at 5. Let's see which runway we're going to use. Runway 10. And vacate straight out there. Thanks for me. JetX 7484, resume navigation. Yeah, I'm running uh, 1080p because I broadcast it in 1080p. And I don't have, you know, 4K screen, so there's no point. One of these days when I have a lot more money, I might buy some bigger screens. Better screens, newer screens, screens that aren't 10 years old. Okay, 2500's good. Let's uh, just double check that EGT. Alpha Center, velocity 431. Do you want to switch over to Talent Bend? 
that sounds like the peak right there. Let's go a little bit richer than peak. Good to go. Turned into a short pilot. Oh, there's a little island over there. I'll get the name of that in a second. I think it might be the period one. It might be Albatross. Now I pass through there. Yeah, that's Black Pyramid. So Black Pyramid there and then Reed Rock, the next one. It's not big enough to land on. Yeah, and a 123 wants us to go to Glenjik. I've never heard of a place before in my life. That was in uh, Aussie, 2358 with you, 4,000 requests for further ascent. Aussie, 2358, Seneca Day, climb plot level... A town in Russia. Zero. Okay. Roger, climb flight, level 320, Aussie, 2358. It's a bit far from us. <laughs> We're in Tasmania and Australia. Right? Five decimal I've lost the property 125 decimal 3. Melbourne Centre, 720, do you want me to go to Melbourne Centre for Tasmania? Melbourne Centre, 20, connect Melbourne Centre now, 123 decimal 8. No, 123 decimal 8 for something to do. Thanks for your help, Tuesday. What's our speed doing? Ah, uh, 120, that's exactly what I was expecting. Unity, Unity aircraft, go ahead. You zoom in the touch for this. Unity 1024, Unity 1024 with you, So the temperature is... Oh, what are we looking at? Do, do, do. 8, apparently. Or 5. Yeah, it's 5. So it's 5 degrees, 8,000 feet. Station calling second. About there. Yeah, so we're about doing uh, 135 knots. So I'll put that in the... I think we uh, plan for 130. Actually doing about 135. Oh no, we plan for 135, that's fine. No worries. Connect 738, connect to about tower 1... That correction, 118, decimal 1. So what we do here is um, you line this up with the temperature and your altitude, the altitude being for us 8,000 feet, the temperature being plus 5 and this is like 30 degrees minus 30 degrees plus with zero in the middle, so pretty much close to the zero, a little bit closer to the zero than the 10, so you stick the 8 which is that mark there roughly at the, t at the 5 and then you read off your actual calibrated speed here which is halfway between 130 and 140. We'll call it 135. Maybe it's ever so slightly closer to 130 than 135, but it's in that range. And then we have our uh, calibrated airspeed, or well, the uh, true airspeed, as it were, and the, and the not true airspeed is uh, 120. That's the, the pito airspeed. Indicated airspeed, as you will. So yeah, we're looking for the true uh, airspeed, miles, uh, which you use ba based on temperature and altitude, using that little speed card, and then that'll, that'll give you the, basically it moves this around. So I'm quite happy to call that 135. 135 um, true airspeed compared to 120 on the indicated. 
Fox Strike Yankee Charlie approved. Fox Strike Charlie. King Island in the distance there. There goes the alarm. Unity 1024, don't have the call sign for you at the moment. And we have uh, Reed Rock just up ahead. And uh, negative. I'm just going to disconnect and reconnect again. Hi the JB, we'll be landing, okay. we'll be stopping, we'll be going to the toilet, we'll get him back in, doing a full um, start-up procedure from a hot start, and then we'll continue on from there, VFR. Dr. Romeo Sierra, not uh, covering Melbourne Snowy at the moment, monitoring to come 122.8. Yes, it's about the time 11 and 18. Melbourne said uh, Sierra Golf Echo request. Sarah Golf Echo. Sarah reporting ops normal at time 5 niner, estimating landfall at time 1 1, then King Island Circuit at time 1 8. Sarah Golf Echo. 10 over and good evening, So that's just all part of this procedure of flying a single engine over these large stretches of water. Uh, we make regular check-ins with ATC. We've nominated once every 10 minutes. I think that's the last 10 minutes. The next time will be pretty much at landfall. Then we'll start descending. Unity 1024, go ahead. Now we just uh, reconnect again when they're in, you can see me now. So Where the circuit time is 18, and it'll probably oh, take us okay, an extra uh, well, five minutes to get on the ground. 9, yeah, 10, 11, 12, 13, so it'll be 23. So our sidewatch time wants to be around about 23. At King Island. Unity 1024, don't have a flight plan for you there, could you just refile it? Just start 70. See ya, you end here. Have a good one. Just start 70, 681. Just start 70, 681. Connect me now, 125 decimal 3. A correction, 123 decimal 8. I don't need that on to be honest. Just start 683, connect Hobart Tower 118, just for one, g'day. 118, just for 683. You're in Russia? Why aren't you on I got that from you wanting to <laughs> visit Russian places. That's cool, I hope you're enjoying uh, this tour of Australia. Hopefully ramp this up to once a week again instead of having like three, four months gaps in between it like we did last time. Ah. Then again, I tend to do more of this kind of stuff when we're on lockdown instead of, you know, being able to go outside. Southern Air 20, start clearance available. Southern Air 20, ready. Southern Air 20, cleared, more grade 1 alpha arrival, runway 30, everyone ready. Correction, maintain, flight level 350. Right out there. On our next check-in, it'll be uh, pretty much at top of the sand, so might as well go OMPS normal at time 0 9 uh, requesting descent into King Island with our estimate at time 2-3. New Zealand 1802, contact me now, 123. That's you can always watch it again, Lachlan. <laughs> but no, we're flying uh, 
this simmer uh, around again. That was the entire point of uh, P3D around Australia. It was like, we didn't do one last lap of Australia before the end of the sim. We managed to get it. Now we're doing it around on this sim. You're always welcome to join me in P3D. We're still using the same bat sim. See you in the toilet, have a good one. Sierra Echo Tango, Melbourne Syndicate, Echo 1, flight level 300. So I've got to fly into the dead side, then make a left hand uh, downwind uh, onto runway to 05 at King. Let's make sure there's nothing obvious that Contact we need to worry about, local regulations. Ground shielding, extreme caution must be exercised and the departure. So, go. Left hand turk as it is. Time at four. Inbound to launch test and runway 32. Charlie, Whiskey, Tango, remain outside controlled area and report on outside traffic tonight. Ah, good work, Lockheed. Melbourne Centre, New Zealand 1802. New Zealand 1802. You fly today or just being the day after? Arrival runway 30, maintain four level 370. Three Alpha, uh, three zero. Uh, Make flight level three zero. Facebook message. Time six. Quite a fine ten, stand by. One Melbourne Center. Care about uh, 10, nine, ten 11 minutes now. away from the circuit, 15 minutes from touch. Remember, there's nothing on the autopilot controlling pitch at all, it's just the trim. Hi there to Aaron, how you doing? All stations in Talonbend's uh, frequency. Unfortunately, I uh, have too much traffic down here in Hobart to continue to uh, extend to so Mother's Unicom 1 through 2 decimal today. Quantus 
Eddie Eddie Pohl, contact Terra Bob Tail, 118 decimal 1, good night. 118 decimal 1, JNX 74, Eddie Bob, good night and good luck. New Zealand 1802, confirm optimal. Uh, we're just having a technical issue, uh, we're diagnosing it at the moment, New Zealand 1802. Qantas 101, Melbourne Centre, you're on frequency 133.8. Qantas 101. Qantas 101, thanks, yes, that clearance is available. And we're about feet dry, we can glide into land if we need to. Qantas 101, cleared Mulgo 1 Alpha arrival, runway 30, maintain flight level 370. And we go one off arrival on way three zero, Qantas one zero one. Melbourne Centre, Sarah Golf Echo uh, will uh, arrive at King Island time 2-3, uh, request to cancel the IFR. Let's get out of his air. Sierra Golf Echo, <laughs> IFR cancel time 1-0, good night. Sierra Golf Echo. Quantum 1-0-1, just a question, is it runway... 1-2-6-8-5? Uh, absolutely. Time 18 to about 8 minutes out. King Island traffic, Sarah Golf Echo is a Piper Arrow, 13 miles to the southeast of uh, the field, inbound uh, runway 06, estimating uh, circuit time 18 traffic, King Island. <laughs> nice. That's an automatic frequency response, or slightly less than automatic. It's a uh, Lachlan frequency response. Nice beep, by the way. One zero, not one six. Write that in big bold letters with a underline. A little bit of trim out. Mixture coming up a little bit. School work piling up on Aaron. Are you in year 12? I guess that'd make sense right about now, if you're in year 12. Or even 11. Can't remember which year in. Was 2020 year 11? I don't know. <laughs> if you're in year 12, I understand completely. Year 11, eh, it gets busy. Year 10 is pretty busy this time of year as well. Oh, the beep is actually from the Afro. Nice. <laughs> Good work. I think we need to make uh, probably two more broadcasts. So there'll be the one from downwind and the one on final. Might be a couple of others. Ah, King Island. Looking very nice with these uh, big roads. Ah, oh, you're in year 10. Oh, year 10 you know, high school certificate, or whatever it's called here. It has its merits. Year 12 is where it gets a real.
Oh, pants off. <laughs> Can probably afford to come down a little quicker than that. Let's go a thousand a minute. Mixture up a touch. About seven miles out. Oh, the Kevin. Yeah, the old... Uh, well, it's an uh, arrow, really. An arrow is a Cherokee with a retractable undercarriage and, you know, that's about it. <laughs> oh, the Alex. Yeah, it's uh, maturing quite well, especially with this aircraft here. That was uh, released, what was that, last week, some of that? Might have been last month for all I know. <laughs> but certainly we've got a GTN 750 going. Things are looking up. Kevin's uh, finished a PPL in the Warrior. Nice aircraft, that. Very nice. I like the low-winged aircraft, a little bit more stable. Just to fly. Harder to get in and out of, but, you know. Uh, runways are in sight. King Island traffic, Sarah Golf Echo will be uh, entering uh, left downwind runway 10, currently passing uh, 2500 on descent via the dead side. Nice. <laughs> Would it be hilarious if we managed to convince VATSIM to put the, the AFRU into actual CTAFs? So if you're in range of an active CTAF, that's, you know, a real frequency, you get that. Regardless of, you know, if anyone's around or not. Okay, mixture coming up a little more, almost full. Maintain 1,500 until we're past the runway center line. Let's check in uh, 1019 are that's set. Come in faster than we did. Okay, and tethering it down one thousand feet. inside the white arc now so we can deploy gear once we need it. Pilot activated light. <laughs> yep. Gonna go mixed to rich.
there's a thousand. King Island traffic, Sierra Golf Echo is left downwind, runway one zero. Gear down. Okay, brakes are released, undercarriage is down. I'll just check the greens, three greens. Mixture is rich, prop is full forward, there it goes. Uh, fuel, going to switch to the other tank. Pump is on, seats and houses are secure. Halfway down. Feeling like a little slight crosswind. Well, it was only five knots. It's only ten degrees off Renault Satellite too. Ah oh, no. Zero one zero one zero. Ah, it's almost all the way across. Let's go in. Flaps. Flaps 10. Drop all the flaps in. King Island traffic, Sierra Golf Echo, turning at final runway one zero. King Island traffic, Sierra Golf Juliet, turning downwind runway one zero for stop. King Island. Big overshoot there. <laughs> Can we rescue this or do we throw it away? More crosswind than I expected, five knots. Ah, throw it right away, that was an ugly looking approach. Flaps away. Positive rate, gear up. King Island traffic, Sierra Golf Echo on the missed approach. That's about right. You were a little bit close last time. King Island traffic, Sierra Golf Echo is uh, downwind runway one zero.
Thank you, coming down. Three green. Brakes, undercarriage down. Mr. Rich, prop forward. Uh, fuel pump is on. Seats and houses are secure. Take flaps 10. That's 20. <coughs> and let's go in now. King Island traffic, Sarah Golf Echo, final runway 10. Yeah, back to lockdown aviation. <laughs> King Island traffic, Sierra Golf Echo has vacated runway one zero. Let's go over here. King Island Aerodrome. <laughs> nice. Funny feeling we should be over there next to the uh, 152. 
This is kind of, um, eh, it's a visitor park, and I'm sure. I'll only be here for a short time. Also, we don't have any, you know, Cessna Conquest coming around to say hi. Park break is set, 1000 RPM. And mixture. All right, let's jump out. That did help. And let's talk about leg two. So we have 66.2 gal of fuel. You're burning at 13. Should be arriving with about 50. King Island to New Year Island. Uh, New, Year, New Year Island to the Otways. We haven't um, put in a <laughs> so I need to do. Well, I'm certainly not sure if you can hear us. Sierra Golf Echo reporting on the ground at King Island. Sierra Golf Echo, King Island, so watch terminated time 31. Good night. Sierra Golf Echo. That was bad of us. <laughs> cool, so a few of the uh, features on this aircraft. Uh, there is a back door that you can open, a baggage door. And there is a click spot summer in there that opens it and shuts it. <laughs> nice to see all those surfaces moving. We don't even need to refuel here, so we won't. We're just gonna, uh, I don't know, feel like visiting the bathroom. Let's go and do that. Be back in a minute.
And a wonderful sound effect, that is. All right, so let's have a look at our next flight plan, shall we? I'll have to file that with uh, ATC as well. So today we're going to be a VFR. We have King Island up to uh, what's this place? Peterborough, Great Ocean Road, PBH. And I believe the other one, the um, where we're headed, if we can't get there, it'll be. Is it Warner Bill? Yeah, WBL. So it's KII King Island, um, Otway, and YPBH. Won't be as high today. Uh, it'll be 6,005 and about 130 Taz. We'll follow that. Cool. Let's jump on. Doors closed. Open the window. Master's on. Uh, Melbourne Centre, Dr. Romeo Sarah, estimate uh, 37. Uh, correction, 48. Don't need to be listening to them. I think we'll just go ahead and start the aircraft. It's a uh, warm start now. Pumps on. Slightly cracked. Make sure that we have the brake on. Chuck some lights on, beacon. King Island, Aerodrome. One thousand IPM. Cools down as soon as you turn the engine on. It's beautiful. Okay, let's get a full. And let's uh, get rid of that flight plan. Set origin. Not used to the keyboard layout being like that. I'm used to it being A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> Going to YPBH. And I don't think uh, Otway has anything, so we're just going to be flying off the plan, really. Visually, that's cool. Basic bare bones of the uh, plan are in. Let's pop in the chart. Uh, the wind was uh, zero one zero. Might even take runway three five for the takeoff. Uh, 
Ah, uh, that's gravel. Let's not do runway 35 for the takeoff. Let's do runway 10. <laughs> it's an exact crosswind on runway 105 knots, though. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to go ahead and VFR. Melbourne Centre, Sierra Golf Echo is a Piper uh, Arrow, taxiing runway 10 at King Island, VFR to Peterborough. Sierra Golf Echo, no report of traffic, remain outside control to airspace. Sierra Golf Echo. King Island traffic, Sarah Golf Echo, taxiing runway 10, we'll call uh, when entering runway. Okay, I'm pretty much ready to move. Park and brake is released. My brakes are in. Let's go. Is this the run-up area over there? I think it might be. Let's do it. Brakes are held, long over 2000 RPM. Two thousand steady. Magneto left. Good drop of about maybe hundred. Magneto right. About the same. Checking uh, prop. Happy with that, we'll drop it down idle. Drive drive for a minute. And let's head out to the runway. No need for any flap. King Island traffic, Sarah Golf Echo entering runway 10, backtrack. Nice. <laughs> That's just a Lachlan sitting there listening to our traffic and doing a beep. But that's pretty much how it sounds in the real world with an Afro. As I said, it'd be nice to have those in, uh, in Vatsim just as a as an option. 
I'm sure it'd be programmable. But then someone would have to program it, and then I'm sure there'd be a massive task of like deciding where the afros are placed, what frequency they're on, and how far the distance should be for them to respond. My suggestion would be uh, 5 miles at ground level and something like 15 miles at say 1000 feet high. The real ones are, of course, affected by terrain masking and all kinds of fun as well. Mixture and prop is all full forward. One thousand, just checking our heading. I'm saying uh, east ninety, eighty, about eighty, seventy five or so. Ah. it there. Now it's upwards isn't it? 90, 100 and 2. About there. Cool. Heading 318. King Island traffic, Sarah Golf Echo, departing runway 10, left hand downwind departure. Okay, let's go. Of a gust there. 80 knots, gear up. So the time is 49. Drop the nose, make it about 90 knots.
thousand feet. Under twenty five hundred RPM. Yep, that's a heading we want. Heading select, autopilot is in. Heading. Oh, there. Uh, they're not too bad. They can be a little bit touchy at times. Uh, hit and miss. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not so great. But each update comes with differences. Okay, we go New Year Island at time. 10 minutes out from 49, which would be 59. We should be at 100 knots, not 90. So let's, uh, let's roll forward a touch there. Checking the other parts doing its thing. It's kind of doing its thing. Isn't now. There we go, it's better. Yeah, the graphics are pretty amazing. I'll give you that. Flip over to Melbourne Centre. Melbourne Centre's gone. Yeah, Melbourne has gone. <laughs> Let's go to TBD. Oh, I don't think we get TBD anyway. No. Yeah, I saw the TDS one. Um, I have checked it out a little bit, but I like this one so far. It's free as well, so far. I know they're intending to sell this one as well eventually, but at the moment it's in beta. And you just download it and install it and it works. <laughs> and it's doing pretty good so far. I'm sure that the, uh, the payware one is okay as well. But for now, this one's working every bit as much as I need it to. this thing coming off a tenning one twenty five three So we don't have AETC at the moment in our area, which is a pity, because it would have been really nice to do that whole thing again with the, um, the position reports and stuff. Uh, night lighting is not too bad at all, actually. It's probably better than anything you'll get in P3D. Uh, you get a torch uh, attached to your head, essentially, at night. So if you don't have the cabin lighting on, you'll get the torch light. And then when you turn the cabin lights on, usually the torch goes away.
So if we were doing, um, yeah, that's true, Lachlan. <laughs> no Afro at uh, Peterborough. So sad. Maybe we can fly a um, helicopter around Peterborough. It's very nice, 12 Apostles just down the road. All kinds of helicopters hanging around there. Hey, Roger. Time is 56, we're expected to cross at 59. Uh, That's the island that we want to cross. So we have Christmas Island here and New Year Island just to its north. And of course, King Island that we're flying past now. So what's that compass heading doing? 3312. Three, three, two, three, three, one. It's about there. Um, 1,000 feet to go. Didn't see a way to subscribe to my Twitch. That's a bit odd. No idea. You just subscribe to my YouTube, so that's good enough for me. So time uh, 57, two minutes and we should be at our cruise altitude and we'll try to make the, the call that we would have made with center anyway. We won't make it to the center because they're dumping everybody off to Unicom at the moment, so whatever. Ah, subscribers money. I don't think I've monetized my Twitch. That's probably why. <laughs> monetize YouTube, but not Twitch. I have to look into that. I think I have to give them tax information and stuff. Time 58, we have 60 seconds and we should be at 6,500 according to the flight plan. Which we pretty much are. Push the nose down, trim it up. 3, 2, 1, 0, 5, flight level 2, 8, 0, to the Romeo Golf. Mixture coming back. Oh, it's the wrong way around. Saw that one thing at a time. That's the peak. A little bit richer peak. Still pushing. Let's work out some time. 27 minutes. 26. Melbourne Centre, Sierra Golf Echo is a Piper Arrow. We're at uh, 6,500, tracking to Cape Otway. Estimating Cape Otway at time 2.6. Uh, request 10 minute check-ins. So the 
give us probably a squawk code in that case. Whatever that squawk code is. Pick it up here. And it wouldn't be 1200, it'd be something else, say. Something like that. And uh, then we'll call in again in 10 minutes on the hour, um, on the tens, on the zeros. So 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And then making landfall again at Cape Otway. Let's double check our heading, it should be 318. And it is. Get back down to a proper altitude. We did bust the altitude a little. Fortunately, it's a VFR, so unlike the IFR, we we need to be pretty much on the money. VFR get a little bit more leeway, maybe a hundred feet. Though so you don't want to be over it because that'll put you inside controlled airspace in some cases. Want to be a little under sometimes. Yeah, when you're flying IFR, you really want to be quite on the money. I think it's about 30 feet. Um, once you break about 50 feet, then ATC starts wondering what's going on. If you're flying a check ride, <laughs> you fail that. No, we're not going to do that. So the menu button, does this all work? Change fields? Yes, it does. We've got the ground speed there. Got the air speed here at... Oh yeah, that's alright, we're at 6,000. Yeah, we're doing about um, what we expected. 135, there's the distance to the next waypoint, the track to the next waypoint, direct track, we don't really need that to be honest. That's a track we're actually flying, isn't it? And then that's the direct track. Estimated time's always quite fun. Oh yeah, that's right, and route time in minutes and seconds. That's always fun. Wind direction, actual track, uh, distance until the next waypoint, and ground speed. OK, 
Cape Hot Way over there. Five minutes, so in five minutes' time, I'll we'll need to make another report to uh, ATC. So we'll be wanting to pick up uh, Peterborough now. And here's the VTC for Victoria. So um, here's a funny idea. There's King Island that we've left. There's New Year Island that we passed. And here's the border between Victoria and Tasmania out here in the ocean. Yeah, station using that be careful. There's Cape Otway right there. That's where we're aiming at. Once we hit the uh, coastline of Victoria, we make a left hand turn and then track down to Peterborough. Peterborough, CTAF 1271. Okay, that's left, that's right. We should be on right take. We are on right take, good stuff. Yeah, Tasmania is about to open up. Ah, that's what I want to hear. Maybe Melbourne's not about to open up, but that's alright. We don't really need them. <laughs> cool. So what we're doing here, as you can see, we're drifting off to the right of a straight line to Peterborough, is we're essentially doing this uh, flight through King Island. We're going backwards, so we did Hunter Island, we did Bold Head, and now we're at King Island, have to go via Cape Otway. It's because of the shortest distance between uh, bits of land. We are a uh, propeller aircraft, so if we, at the moment, had an engine failure, I'd probably do a 180 degree turn to try and get as close to King Island as possible, and we're not going to make it. So we'd leave the gear up, uh, we'd open the door up, take the locks out of it at least, maybe not fling it open. Come to a rest on the great swells of uh, the Bass Strait, and then uh, pop our life jackets and watch the... Uh, Watch the wreckage of <laughs> Sierra Golf Echo sink below the waves. And that's why we're making these uh, position reports every 10 minutes, just because obviously if we had an engine failure, we'd make the mayday call. But if we had like a total electric failure that destroyed the aircraft or whatever, and we weren't able to make a radio call for some reason, then obviously when we miss our next, uh, what they call that thing, the next operations normal call, S-K-E-D, then they'd start calling us. If we didn't answer, then they'd start sending search and rescue equipment I'm down here. Mark point. Seven, 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 seven. What, who are you? Then, uh, uh, I've got a traffic warning. Uh, contact 1821. Then deal with it. If you get a traffic warning, just monitor it and maybe turn if you want to. And if you get a TCAS climb, then just climb or descend or what is it? Tazzy's back. 3-8. Okay. 
Northwest 1821, G'day Melbourne Centre. So Cape Otway at 26. Oscar Tango Park at 8, 35. Oscar Tango Park identified climb by the fifth level of pre secure. 43. Good evening, Flight Level 360. Approximately 28 miles southeast of Dockton. And we'll call 28 for the second time. Uh, two in there. Last aircraft calling confirmed Speedbird 681. A firm 681. Speedbird 681, descent flight level 370. Uh, did you pass the traffic? 370. Speedbird 681, and yeah, we're still going up on the Other aircraft in before, go ahead. Honest 23, good evening. That's, uh, out of Hobart to Adelaide Alex. at 3000, uh, flight level 360. Quite 23, get a uh, maintain flight level 360. Maintain 360, on a 23. Quarter 74, 17, descend 9000, stand by, thank you, NH. Descending 9000, contact town 4115. Quarter 74, 17, it's QNH 1017. 1017, contact town 4115. Hmm. Melbourne Centre, Sierra Golf, Echo, VFR, Piper, Arrow is uh, tracking to Peterborough via Cape Otway, estimating Otway at uh, time uh, 26. Uh, Sierra Golf, Echo, Melbourne Centre, g'day, sorry, just confirm your VFR or are you requesting flight following? Yeah, VFR requesting flight following to Cape Otway just for the sandwich. Sierra Golf Echo Sport 3755, no reported up uh, or uh, observed VFR traffic. Sport 3755, Sierra Golf Echo. Good evening, Melbourne Center, just after 7331, with you, follow 340 departed at Adelaide uh, one hour ago, tracking direct to Dotso. Last aircraft calling to stand by, Qantas 1821. Uh, I'll get you climb non-standard flight level 360, got uh, unidentified traffic that's not in contact with me, uh, right behind you, St. Altitude. Uh, we'll find the 360. Good thing about this uh, flight Melbourne is it puts us in a nice position to uh, have Melbourne Centre uh, next just, uh, week, for instance. Melbourne Centre. Although we might do it earlier than that, uh, with any luck. Have you, uh, you'll clear the ball go. Not Rumble, sure which way to come Trekking. around from Peterborough. Rumble, uh, maybe there's Apollo Rumble. Bay, and then we could do this whole trip Rumble, around one, Port Vila Bay. That could work Rumble, out Rumble, fun. Rumble. Actually, last time we did it that way around, so we might do it this way around next time. So coming to uh, Apollo Bay, maybe? Don't know. Either that or Torquay. And then uh, fire, fly it. Opposite direction. So, some milk run Monday, probably next milk run Monday. Um, take off out of one of the Geelong airfields and then pop into Avalon, Melbourne itself, and then stop at um, Point Cook. And then maybe the week after that, do Point Cook all the way around. Touch and go at Moorabbin, and then through here, back into Barwon Heads or something, or uh, heading oh, off west. Good thing about flying around Melbourne, you've got a guaranteed event 
almost every week. QJ 1585 identified, clear the Morgo 3 Victor arrival runway at 30, maintain flight level 390. So at the moment we're in flight following, we've got a uh, squawk code, we are VFR, and we've given them an estimate at Otway. They're pretty busy so we're not going to stick with the uh, 10 minute intervals, we're just going to cancel the uh, SAR watch once we hit Cape Otway. Cancel the flight following, too, so not SAR watch. So we'll cancel flight following and give him a, a SAR watch time of 48 into Peterborough. Lossy 218, g'day. Uh, maintain flight level 350, clear the Morgo 1 Victor arrival, runway 30. Clear the Morgo 1 Victor arrival, runway 30, maintain flight level 350, velocity 280. Get that soon, 3 ready to send flight level 190. Stephen Fiber 370 to 7190 right. Be registered. Just ask any 371 requesting star clearance. Uh, velocity 218, uh, correction. Uh, what's the aircraft going? 7331. Qantas 1821, can you accept flight level 370, uh, cruising final? So here's uh, Cape Otway. The very largely distinct bit of land there. Flight level 370. Gonna just skim the uh, western side of Cape Otway and then pop down on that. And uh, aircraft calling for Darko, say again, call sign. Just uh, 73, 31. Wish we could move those tool tips around. Put it up in the left hand corner or something. Just star 7331, you cleared the Morgo 1 of Victor Arrival Runway 30, we're uh, maintain uh, flight level 350. Maintain 350, Morgan 1, Victor, you thought we can pick up the Morgan 1 Alpha Arrival, just star 7331. Just star 7331, AFM, you recleared the Morgan 1 Alpha Arrival Runway 30. Morgan 1 Alpha 7331. Hi, the JB, I use uh, Firefox for my flight sim stuff and I use Chrome for my work stuff. That's generally how it works for me. Because uh, with uh, Chrome, I send my uh, favourite uh, links, sets me to work ready. and stuff. Uh, actually, stand by, break, break, Gekstar 60, uh, 691. I'll get you to maintain uh, minimum cruise speed for now, thanks. Minimum cruise speed, that's what Hello, Vieta. How are you doing? QJ 1585, when ready to send flight level 190. Yes, the good old arrow. Apologies, uh, QJet Just been drifting uh, a little bit to the to the west. We'll a, uh, Might point straight in at the at Thank the you, Cape. Break, break. Uh, Juliet, Mike Tango, your code is uh, 6065. No, I put it up. Got four me. minutes till uh, Cape Otway estimate. Five, Central Last aircraft calling readability 2 by 5 Just start 2129, Just start 2129, reading you 5, you cleared a Hobart uh, planned route flight level 370 I'm in uh, quarantine, which is to say, you know, the army come once and once every day to knock on my door to make sure I know So they came twice Terminated monitor, you need to come 122 days for today Yeah, I was at a, an event which was a tier one exposure uh, site for COVID. Holding arrivals for the time being. Uh, so I'll so I'm not allowed to have a house for a week. I have to get uh, tested again on Thursday. Thank you. Then when it comes back again, negative for the second time on Thursday, then they might let me out. Till then, I can't even go to the stock to the shops, can't go for a walk outside. 
I have to say, inside my own property. Uh, yeah, Qantas 1821, they're a thousand feet away from you. No worries. Um, We're also approaching uh, Southern Descent. Qantas 1821, Roger, stand by for that. Apologies uh, for any delays, and that applies to everyone. We're only just jumping on, trying our best to catch up. Uh, just Dustin 681, you with me? Just Dustin 681 is with you, questing descent inbound sailing. Just Dustin 681, you cleared the Morgo 1 Victor arrival runway 30 when ready, descent flight level 190. Descent flight level 190, cleared Morgo 1 Victor arrival, just Dustin 681. Yeah. <laughs> Altitude? Uh, this thing doesn't even do altitude, does Oh yeah, that's right, it's that little button there. To conduct, uh, orbit, kind of. Until altitude mode, hold. <laughs> altitude hold within 300 feet. Until further advice, Qantas 7410. Lossy 572, descend 6000, left hand orbit, overhead Bavur, until advised. Let's double check that uh, 1271 is our CETA. It is. For the approach, uh, my self flight sim won't input the start properly and I can't manually do it either. I can get myself to Limdu, Lim, uh, Limdu, yeah, but I might need back to Just ask 691, I'll try my best to help you out, but with the current workload, I might struggle. Um, best I can think of for you is you might just have to manually sequence a direct track every time you get to a waypoint. Unfortunately, that's just uh, where we're at at the moment. No worries, I can try that too. All good. Uh, just off the one. I think we're close enough to this to uh, Cape Otway to glide there. So in maybe a minute or two. Yeah, one minute from now was our estimate, two, three. Then we're going to cancel our um, flight following because those guys are really busy today. <laughs> They've got like Sound more like traffic going to Hobart. That will make sequencing for the arrival very hard. More traffic going into Hobart today yeah, than we'll go in there in a month. <laughs> uh, not really, since those arrivals don't exist anymore. Okay, thank you. Uh, so Qantas 41, I think Qantas 1821 is not flying on standard, just had a on them. Uh, Alright, had two in together there. I think I heard Qantas 1821 with a fairly urgent message. Say again. Uh, it's Qantas 1741. I think we just spoke to 1821, got a TCAP for them, and I think they're flying on standard for what it's worth. Roger that. I've got them showing 370 on their uh, ADSB track, and you showing 360 as well. So it looks like you're both on, um, on standard. Yeah, probably. Where I'm looking. It's up there. I'm keen to drop the autopilot to make the turn Just, uh, here. 7331, uh, maintain flight level 350 for now. Break, break. Oscar Tango for park climb and bend flight level 3. Uh, 33 miles. Four, zero. Yeah, we don't need to send yet. Speedbird 681, descend 7000, QNH 1017. Hold, uh, correction. Left hand orbit overhead waypoint Bavur until advised. Uh, left hand orbit to Bavur to Sharp 934, 4000 feet, Sharp 934, good day, identified fine by the Sid, flight level Urban Centre, Sarah Golf Echo, request to cancel flight following, estimated time at Peterborough, time 48. Two in together there, Sarah Golf Echo, you've left my estate to the north monitor unit, come 122 days for Lane, g'day. Sarah Golf Echo. Other aircraft in second. Qantas 7 with you, centre, flight level 400. Qantas 7, g'day, Melbourne Centre, break, break, uh, just start 2129, you with me? And we'll monitor the centre at tail and bend, one, two, five, three. Six, I've already cancelled uh, so much. 
123 Decimal Lake, China Southern 4640. Thank you, sir. So that's Cape Otway. And down here we have uh, something or other hill. Can't remember the name of the place. Let's see it. Is it Reginald Hill? I don't know. Wattle Hill. There we are. I think it's Reginald Beach. Right about there. So this whole section is called Waddle Hill. There's a Cape Volney track somewhere down there. Great Ocean Road's a little bit inland. That's it there. So yeah, Great Ocean Road kind of avoids Waddle Hill and then it uh, comes back into the coastline somewhere around there up at Port Campbell. Gonna come off autopilot and start our descents. Time four rates the number that we want. Cool. All apart, disconnected. Done. Twenty eight miles to go, we're at uh, six thousand five hundred. about 20 miles we'll start our descent that's seven miles to go let's run in a direct two not hearing anything why not? One, two, five, three. Yeah. Don't need him anyway. Going to check our fuel state. Go around to the left side. Pump on for a bit. Getting a bit cloudy here. And also coming up on the Twelve Apostles National Marine Park. Let's go down. Go 
over the road. Have half a mind to stand off the sh off the shore slightly. Not much. It's a little. Let's grab the seat off. Peterborough traffic, Sarah Golf Echo is a uh, Piper Arrow. We are at uh, 6,000 feet on descent to uh, Peterborough. Estimate Peterborough time 48. Currently uh, 20 miles to the east. Peterborough traffic. So that's uh, runway 08. Two six. Uh, the wind is zero one zero, so we're on a zero eight with a lot of crosswind. Pick up one last AWIS from one amble. Information service, Warnambool Airport, time one zero three two Zulu, wind zero two zero degrees magnetic at seven knots. Visibility 10 kilometers. Cloud clear below 10,000 feet. Temperature 6, dew point 4. QNH 1020 hectopascals. Rainfall last 10 minutes nil. Almost the same weather as everywhere else we've been today. <laughs> uh, 0207. So it's going to be runway 08. And we'll just double check a thing here. Here, I'll make a left hand circuit. I have gas and jet one is available if we need it. Probably won't, to be honest. We'll pick it up somewhere cheaper, like Melbourne. Not Melbourne, Tullamarine, I mean, like Melbourne, Rabin. So it's runway 08 and it's going to be a left hand circuit on the inland. Coming up on the 12 Apostles, which aren't tall in this scenery unfortunately. I wonder if they did that on purpose so that Orbis can sell us something down here. Uh, that's why I'm descending now deliberately, nice and early. Get some uh, good looks at this wonderfully, very picturesque part of the world. Very wild, very cold, as you saw there, 6 degrees, 7 knot wind.
stand offshore a little bit more. There they are, the big old rocks. The Twelve Apostles. A little bit flatter than they should be. Port Campbell there. Peterborough traffic, Sierra Golf Echo, Piper Arrows, 10 miles from the field, will be uh, joining a left downwind runway 08 traffic, Peterborough. Some more of the 12 apostles. Two thousand feet, I'll leave it here. One last squeeze, what's the altitude of the airfield? 100 feet, it's easy. One last squeeze at that little bit of land there. London Bridge is in there somewhere, I think. Or what used to be London Bridge. <laughs> One heart of it left. Before the big inlet. Hard to spot this runway because it's not paved. So looking for a dirt gravel runway. What do they uh, describe it as? Don't know. Uh, the three and a half apostles, yeah, you're about right there. The ever crumbling, disappearing apostles. There was never 12 other things. At best, there was like eight. Down to 100 knots. Four miles out. I 
think I've got it. Yep. Spotted. Correct, I haven't flown that yet. I probably won't be until I get uh, some new... Well, I'm having some issues with it in my current installation. And apparently the easiest way to fix that is to completely uninstall P3D entirely and then reinstall it from scratch. Of course, if I'm going to uninstall P3D, I might as well upgrade to P3D version 5. So that's what I'm thinking I'll be doing soon. Sorry, Peter Barra. Sarah at Golf Echo is joining uh, Downwind Runway uh, 08. It's right behind the post there. There it is. Got it. Let's back off the power. Yeah, we're about there. Keep coming down. Mixture and prop. Full forward. Brakes are released, undercarriage is down. Mixture is set. Fuel pump on. Fuel set. Seats and harnesses are secure. Hundred knots, a thousand feet. Tacking into the wind a little bit more. Seventeen knots up here. Start that descent. Laps 10. Keeping that curve going. Trimming up. All the flaps. Good about traffic, Sarah Golf Echo, final runway 08. We're pretty close together, so we're probably going to have to vacate the runway. A lot of crosswind there.
91 FM. So you go, Fico, vacated for you, but we will need to backtrack. Actually, on second thought, we'll backtrack on the side of the runway. No worries. Stop here so we don't touch wingtips. Staying on the brakes. How much room do we have our off there? Not bad. So, go off, okay, returning to the uh, center line on the runway 08 to backtrack. Bit about traffic, so we go for Echo, Vacay the Zero Eight. Just over there next to the tank. Mm, bit of a hill over there, I think. Yeah, that's definitely a hill. Yeah, it looks okay. We can push it back if we need to. Park and brake is set. There's an RPM. Let's jump on.
I guess we just push the aircraft back a little bit from there. I wish we could slew this aircraft properly, or I think there's a tow bar. Is that the thing that does anything for us? Hello, tow bar. Can we push this aircraft back like this? No, it's not an air to air. Can we push it here? No? <laughs> How do we make it go backwards? I don't think we do. Anyway, the aircraft comes with a tow bar, but it doesn't seem to have any function. Funny. That's all right. Tie downs and chucks. Uh, Bark and break is set. And there we are, Peterborough, on the Great Ocean Road. I literally got the word Great Ocean Road there in the airfield name. It's pretty fun. Ah, there we go, we finally closed the door. Tie downs are in, the chocks are on. Aircraft's a little bit too far forward, but what can you do? Oh well. That's us for Milk Run Monday of uh, the 31st of May 2021. Uh, sometime in the week we're going to get this aircraft a little bit closer to Geelong and then probably next Milk Run Monday we're going to fly it around uh, Port Phillip Bay. Possibly with an approach at Melbourne, actual Melbourne Airport. That's my intention. So that's probably going to be next Milk Run Monday. Um, of course somewhere in between those two we'll be uh, popping this over to I'm thinking Barwon Heads, maybe Torquay, one of those airfields over in uh, this part of the world. My part of the world almost, getting there. So there's Torquay, there's Barwon Heads, Geelong, Ceres, one of those airfields will uh, just call in. And then for Milk Run Monday, we'll head out to probably Avalon first and then Melbourne. Pop in a, maybe an ILS approach into Avalon. Yeah, that could work out pretty well. Maybe Torquay. So leaving Torquay, we might head northbound, get an IFR clearance and throw in our ILS approach at Avalon. Maybe we'll do the whole hog. ILS approach, uh, runway 18. Uh, VYR approach to runway 36 and then pop up to Melbourne for another ILS up here. Good work. <laughs> and then out of Melbourne, probably, I'm thinking Point Cook. Yeah, let's go to Point Cook. And I'm thinking, how's this for just some thoughts? Um, we leave this aircraft at Point Cook, then the next Milk Run Monday. Uh, we come in and fly the helicopter to Batman Park. And then, you know, around the city and stuff. Might be something to think about. Anyway, until that happens, I'm sure there will be other events between here and now. I've been Musical Aviator. Hope you've enjoyed the VFR flying. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. We can leave the door closed, man.